Vanished. The Disappearance of Madeline McCann. Episode 1. The Family Holiday Turn Nightmare. Welcome to Ontario Cold Cases, Canada's True Crime Podcast, World Cold Case Thursdays. I'm your host, Jay Nickel, Nickel Investigations. And today we begin a journey into one of the most infamous missing persons cases in modern history. The Disappearance of Madeline McCann. It was the spring of 2007 when a seemingly ordinary family holiday turned into a global mystery. Jerry and Kate McCann, along with their three children, two-year-old twins and their eldest daughter, three-year-old Madeline, arrived at a picturesque resort in Praia de Luz, Portugal. It was supposed to be a peaceful getaway for the British family, a chance to unwind in the coastal town. But on the evening of May 3rd, 2007, their lives were shattered. The McCanns were staying in an apartment complex known as the Ocean Club. It was family friendly with pools, tennis courts, close proximity to the beach. Each evening, Jerry and Kate, along with their friends, dined at a nearby tapas restaurant within the resort while their children slept just 50 meters away in their ground floor apartment. The group took turns checking on their children every 20 to 30 minutes. By all accounts, it seemed safe. What could possibly go wrong? At around 10 p.m., Kate McCann left the restaurant to check on her three children. What she found would change everything. Madeline's bed was empty. The shutters on the window had been tampered with, and the three-year-old was gone. A frantic search ensued. Kate ran back to the restaurant, shouting, They've taken her. The group searched the surrounding areas of the resort, but there was no sign of Madeline. Within hours, local police were called in, and what began as a missing persons case would soon turn into one of the most scrutinized criminal investigations in the world. Let's pause here to explore the key details in the early hours of the investigation. The Ocean Club Complex was combed for evidence, and the local police interview witnesses, including the McCann's and their group of friends, known as the Tapas Seven. However, many crucial errors were made in the initial stages. The apartment was not immediately cordoned off, meaning people were coming and going, contaminating the scene. By the time forensic investigators arrived, any evidence that may have pointed to a Madeline's abductor was compromised. There were missed opportunities, unexplored CCTV footage, roadblocks that were delayed, and leads that went unpursued. Three-year-old Madeline McCann is being reported missing from a Portuguese holiday resort. The family is devastated. Local police are searching, but so far there are no leads. Read early news reports. Despite the immediate efforts, Madeline's whereabouts remained a mystery. Days turned into weeks. The search for Madeline became an international media sensation. The McCanns pleaded for help, appearing on news networks across Europe. British media in particular covered the story extensively, raising awareness, but also igniting a firestorm of theories and speculation. As the investigation unfolded, it became plagued by controversy. One of the early and most widely discussed leads came from an eyewitness, a tourist who claimed to have seen a man carrying a small child in the vicinity of the McCann's apartment around the time Madeline disappeared. The description was vague, and despite efforts to track this man down, he was never identified. The biggest twist in the case came when, in September 2007, just four months after Madeline vanished, Portuguese police made a shocking announcement. Kate and Jerry and McCann were named as official suspects, our guidos in their daughter's disappearance. In a dramatic turn of events, the parents of missing three-year-old Madeline McCann have been declared formal suspects by Portuguese authorities, read news reports. The theory was simple, but devastating. Some investigators believe that Madeline died accidentally in the apartment, that her parents had concealed her death. The McCanns vehemently denied the allegations, 
No solid evidence ever emerged to support this claim. Yet the media frenzy only intensified, with headlines around the world questioning the couple's involvement. Was this a case of abduction or something far more sinister? Madeline McCann's disappearance has captivated the world for over a decade. The answers remain elusive. Did a breakthrough still happen after all these years? Join us next time as we continue to unravel the mystery. Remember, if you have any information about this case, no matter how small, it would make all the difference. For the next few episodes, we'll dig into these accusations, explore the international search for Madeline. We'll look at the mistakes, the suspects, conspiracy theories, and the ongoing efforts to uncover the truth. Thank you for listening. This has been Ontario Cold Cases, Canada's true crime podcast, available wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts.